I decided about four years ago that instead of always using textbooks, always using you know traditional methods of learning, I thought, wouldn't it be neat to teach social studies and writing and reading with one project in mind? And then I thought, you know, these kids would probably love to do a TV show. So we've been working on this every day, probably 45 minutes a day for the past month. You're going to be doing a special, like, weather summary? Like a special weather summary. So then I just got, like, the most probable weather for June. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's like a... Like an average. First I listed all the jobs and described each one to the kids and then they actually interviewed with me. Business cards. Every child got one of their three choices. You would like to apply for the job of anchor mm -hmm. or commercial. So that every kid's happy, which is important. Then we just started researching and we, we turned the classroom into a newsroom and they brought in the New York Times, the Daily News, uh, Newsweek, Time, and they started researching for their particular subject. And then they wrote a summary and they'd have to submit the summary to me, they'd have to edit with their peers, um, edit with me, and then once they all had their articles, we started actually getting into the theatrical side of it. That I see is the most challenging thing for them and for me, um, but their peers help me to get them pumped up and ready to go. Can I say thank you for watching? Is that okay? No. I'll try not to. No. <laughs> As director of Good Morning Garrison, I help people get ready for their scenes and help prepare people for telling other people about their articles that they've researched. So we do a lot of work and we research and report and we have to act. They love the writing, they love the research aspect of it too. Early in the year they learned how to take notes, so it reinforces that they've become really adept at note taking. Some kids who never, uh, just really don't know what's going on in the world, um, now they do. In the Gulf of Mexico, on April 20th, 2010, there was a large oil spill. And now they're extremely apparent of, of uh, uh, events that do affect them and will affect them in the future. One person sitting at a desk presses one button, goes from here, down here. One button. Just one button. They've learned to cooperate, they've learned to be extremely self-sufficient, which is great because next year they go to middle school, so they really need to be self-sufficient next year. It's good to also not just to learn about um, what's happened in the past, but also to learn about what's happening in present now, like the oil spill and fishing derby and like all the events that have happened. Group learning, cooperation with your peers. Sometimes kids that didn't necessarily talk to each other or spent much time with each other uh, before this, they're working together now and they're, they've, some of them have made some new friends through this. You need a lot of teamwork to get everything done. I like to see what articles people come up with. We've also learned like to work with each other. Teamwork and working with others. And help each other out even when it's not even our job. Wait, what was the question? To help each other out, like be self-sufficient. You hear me, Garrison? Right this instant. You see the finished product and it's basically a morning news show with a little bit of everything. Hello and welcome to the Medical Report with Dr. Vorliotis. Our first topic today will be brand. Is a good serving of brand the key to living a longer life? Just a lot of fun. It, 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 it gets them so excited about school. Um, parents tell me they jump out of bed in the morning when we do this and uh, it's, it's a good way to end the school year too.